Good morning, everyone present here today. God bless you all for coming. It's our turn to sing together. We will begin with hymn number 221 from S, S, and S, Sacred Songs and Solos, number 221. We want to appreciate the clarinet solo from Tolu Asaya, and then, of course, a song of praises, which... Um, the choir has just given to us, and quite appropriately, that is what we are going to do today. Today has been set aside as a special day of thanksgiving for all that the Lord has done during these past 36 days of um, daily prayers that the church announced and which we have been doing up till now. So we want to conclude that corporate daily prayers today with a service of praise and thanksgiving to what the Lord has done for each and every one of us, as well as the entire church. May you please accept our thanks and praises. Amen. For our internet audience, wherever you are, we are very happy that you are able to worship with us virtually this morning. We pray that the Lord will bless you too. Amen. And um, as we sing together, we pray that um, you join in the singing, you join in the entire service, and the Lord who is here with us to bless will certainly be with you there too. However, if you are visiting or you are li living locally and you are able to come to us here, we are located on number 95 Fenham Road, SE 15 1AE. We just um, beginning with the congregational song after the prelude from the choir. You've not missed much. If you're able to come here to join us, that will be fine. But if not, Let's continue to worship God together, even virtually, as God is everywhere. Hymn number 221, we take all those three verses um, singing with praises from our heart. Two, two, one.
go singing. Let's turn to hymn number one from the same hymn book. Hymn number one from the same hymn book. Praise my soul, the King of heaven. We're going to sing verses one, two, and three only. Verses one, two, and three only. wonderful name, the name all victorious of Jesus extol. Let's take again from here, verses 1, 2, and 3. 2, 1, 2, we're taking verses 1, 2, and 3.
154 to 154 Nothing secret going on up here. <laughs> Just telling them about the tune since um, they are going to give us the tune, which is a different one from what we have with 254. 254 says, Awake and sing the song of Moses and the Lamb. Is that not what we heard about this morning? Is that not our prayer this morning? That by the grace of God, that song of Moses and the children of Israel, after they heard that great triumph, that God will help us to sing similar song. Amen. Wake every heart and every tongue to praise the Savior's name. There shall each raptured tongue is endless praise proclaim, and sweeter voices tune the song of Moses and the Lamb. 254. We have four verses there. We are singing all the four verses. can wait until we join in that great song of Moses in heaven. And we pray that the Lord will qualify each and every one of us to be able to do that. Amen. Okay, we have our last song before praying together, actually. We're going to stand up to sing two verses of hymn number 209, at the end of which all of us will raise our voices to praise this great God of heaven together. You know what he has done for you, I know what he has done for me. We perhaps know what he has done for the church and for others. So we will all raise our voices to pray together, to give praises unto this great God of heaven. We are taking verses 1 and the last of 209. And those two verses we are going to stand up to sing, at the end of which we shall all praise God together. Hymn number 209. <laughs>
Lord Jesus, for who you are. Glory, honor, praise be unto your name. Thank you, God the Father. giant in the class. They got like 60, but to my surprise, God gave me 76. Amen. I praise God for that. Amen. In my family, uh, one of my aunties I had a dream about my mom wearing white clothes or something like that. So we were, and, and she said, maybe it would just happen like that without us knowing it. And we prayed to God. Yesterday I talked to my mom, and it was healthy and wise. I praise God for that. In our family, I always, um, there's a family that my, uh, we pray for a broken home. And to God be the glory. This month of prayer, good, good news are coming. Somebody that has not been in the family for how many years, he shows up. He says, he wants to come and say hello to my mom. We, I give God all the glory. God has done so many things for me. Our time will not permit me. I will continue to praise him and pray for me that not has separated me from the love of God. Amen. I want to thank God for uh, experiences in life. Amen. The greatest experiences that uh, I've got 
uh, started with when I came to this church as a sinner, and I was told that I was on my way to hell uh, when Simon was coming out, and not until I repent of my sins and ask God to forgive me, Amen. believing in the blood of Jesus. Amen. That I did, and the Lord did not fail me. Amen. He forgave my sins. Amen. I praise for what? Another experience, wonderful one. He sanctified my Amen. soul. He baptized me with the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. Since then, I've been having some terrible experiences, mm -hmm. some beautiful experiences in the gospel all worked out for good and i praise god for this Amen. you know 2016 i had been making a great noise within my family and friends that it was the best year the previous years had been a turbulent ones but 2016 was wonderful Amen. and to cram it up on the 31st after the watch night service, I was the one driving. My son and I, we had a beautiful time on the tunnel when people were coming back from their watch night, say, oh, wherever they watch their night, um, were just making piam, piam, piam. I said, this is a sign of greeting. We got that experience before when we were returning from a watch night service. Let me return this. So it became, it turned out to be a very joyous occasion. Piam, 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 this one would horn, this one would horn. We jubilated like that. And not knowing that, something was waiting for me. You know, after that, the following day, I was not able to make it to church here. From that time, it shortened the uh, information or the news. From that time, not until now, that I can feel that I am living. Amen. Do you know, I, I saw, I've seen death, I have seen trouble, but in all, I want to give God the praise worthy to be alive today. Amen. I want to thank God because on Friday I turned 25. Um, and in the same week, God gave me a permanent job with a healthy, healthy salary. So I want to thank God. Amen. Thank God for helping me in my studies. Amen. I want to thank God for what he's done for me during the month of January. Um, I just want to thank him for just keeping me and protecting me um, where I am at school. Every day he's provided me with food to eat and every day he's given me, um, he's given me strength to go on with days, even though some days I'm like, oh, I just can't do today, I'm just so tired and stuff. But God helps me and at the end of the day I can say that um, God has been with me. So I, he just um, shows me his presence every day and I just thank God for that. Amen. Crowds have lined the narrow street To see this man from Galilee Just a carpenter, some say Leading fools astray Yet many kneel to give him praise and in his eyes they glimpse the power that sees the hearts of all men. And he knows the Father's mind, he speaks his Father's words, for he comes in the name of the Lord. Nothing left to do 
but just depend on you and the power of your name and when I call upon your name your strength through weakness to show we can know the master's plan extend the master's hand when we come in the name of the Lord there is strength in the name of the Lord there is power in the name of the text from the book of First Samuel, the seventh chapter, reading verse 12, First Samuel, chapter 7, reading verse 12, then Samuel took a stone and set it between Mizpeh and Shen, and called the name of it Ebenezer saying, he that you, as the Lord helped us. I want to pray that today, you and I, we're going to set up a stone, a stone of memorial, a stone of help. I don't know what you are going to call yours, but for these people, they erected a stone that they called Ebenezer saying, he that to the Lord has helped us. Amen. It is a good thing to look back, to reflect, and consider, and praise God for what he has done, Amen. especially when we look back and see where we were and check on ourselves where we are now. It has been said that if men will pause or think, they will have so many reasons to praise God. Amen. And that's what we want to do today. It is said here, he that you. That simply means that up till now. It, it suggests that um, there was a situation before now. Previously, the, the children of Israel here have been conquered by the Philistines. Eli, they are High priest are died, his sons are dead, the ark of the Lord has been taken, and of course, God made a way by which that ark must be returned, and the ark at this time has been returned. However, the children of Israel were still being oppressed 
by the Philistines, and some of their cities have been taken. That is where they were, no hope, until they were challenged by a young prophet, verse 3 of the same chapter. Verse 3 of that same chapter we are looking at says, And Samuel speak unto all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods and Ashtaroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord, and serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. What a challenge. I want to believe that's the kind of challenge we too we have had since the beginning of this year, that we should serve the Lord, we should return to the Lord, we should serve him with all our hearts, we should put away all things that may be considered strange. And thank God for the wonderful time that the Lord has given us before him. If there has ever been any time that I want to look at my life and say, this was a special time of joy. Amen. This past 36 days has been so special to me. Amen. Very special. In terms of God giving me the opportunity, the privilege to join the saints of God, when they gather together, you just need to be in those prayer meetings. And it's not just here, it's everywhere. It was wonderful. It was great. In terms of people that were asked to conduct these meetings and the preparation that the Lord uh, made them to get ready for us, someone told me, actually, I don't need to say someone, it's my wife, who told me that I, I, I made a mistake that I did not write down for every prayer meeting the doses that you are receiving from these conductors. Because they were wonderful. Yes. They were so precious. Yes. Their, their, their word of God expanded in a way that you, you would not even be able to uh, 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 understand fully. Unless you are there. Even up till yesterday, when men gathered together here to pray. Our God is great. Yes. Our God is wonderful. Yes. He has been instructing us. He has been helping us. Just to make sure that we return to him. What did these people do? From verse 4. Then the children of Israel did put away Baalim and Ashtaroth and serve the Lord only. Amen. And Samuel said, Gather all Israel to Mizpeh, and I will pray for you unto the Lord. Yes. And they gathered together at Mizpeh. Amen. We have had Mizpeh experience. Amen. I can tell you that. That is everywhere. You just need to talk to people that God has given the opportunity to be in these prayer meetings and drew water and poured it out before the Lord and fasted on that day and said there, we have sinned against the Lord and Samuel judged the children of Israel in Mizpeh. That was what God was doing for us. Each time we met during these past 36 days, judging, helping us, showing us where we are, as either a pastor or a minister or, 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 or a father, or a mother, a child, a worker, non-worker, whosoever you think you are, the word of God was just pouring out, judging us, correcting us, putting us straight where we belong. And then we will fall down on our knees, we cry to God, we pray to him, and the result, let's check the result here, yeah, verse 10. And as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, and Philistines drew near to battle against Israel, but the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines, and discomfited them, and they were smitten before Israel. Amen. Verse 13. So the Philistines were subdued, and they came no more into the coast of Israel, and the hand of the Lord was against Philistines all the days of Samuel. Amen. When people gather together to pray, things happen. Yes. And we want to praise God for so many things that have happened during the course of these prayer meetings. The greatest, as Sister Mendel actually testified, 
has to do with the experience of salvation. To be sure that we are delivered from our life of sin, we are delivered from oppression, we are delivered from the hand of the devil, we are delivered from the, uh, 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 all those things that people are running here and there for, running from, we are delivered from them. We praise God. Amen. We thank God. Amen. I've been told that I have high blood pressure. And you know the joy of my heart every time? Okay, if I have a sickness, maybe yours is not high blood pressure, maybe it's something else. Whatever you have, you know what, something that the Lord has put down in my heart is that, you know, if, if I die, which everyone would do one day. Yes. And many times, I don't know about you. I'm not scaring you. But many times, you know, many times I think of a time when you will carry me through here. Of course. I think about that. Yes. Actually, that is going to be a honor. Of course. In the sense that many are gone without having that opportunity. Yes. Yes. So many times I look back and say, one day, each time I'm around here in the church, one day, they will carry you and leave you in one small box there. Then I will not be able to praise God. Because in the grief, there is no praising of God there. No. Now that we have our life, we should praise God. Amen. Because this great God has done so many things. Yes. Great things. Yes. That we cannot even count. Hear that too. They were there, now they are here. You can't compare those two things under the oppression of the Philistines, and now God subdued the Philistines. Amen. That is what the Lord has done for us. Amen. I have that belief firmly in my heart. For me as an individual, for you as an individual, for us as a church, the Lord has subdued our Philistines. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We've been looking back during these past 36 days. It has done so many great things. We can look at where we were, and as I've been saying to many people, I think I said this to men that gathered here yesterday, that if at the end of this special time of prayer meeting, whether you are able to attend or not, I believe you are praying wherever you are, if at the end of this special time that the Lord has given us, if anyone will remain the same, if a husband will remain the same husband, Wife will remain the same wife in terms of character, attitude, and faithfulness, and holiness, and what we know in the scripture. I said to them yesterday that I pray that the spirit that came upon Pharaoh, that spirit that made Pharaoh to be so hardened that he could not even think straight again. The fact that you saw Red Sea parted, and instead for you to say, oh, oh, with everything that has been happening, this is this very strange one. Even the death of his uh, uh, firstborn did not even move him. At least now you see Red Sea with wall standing like this, keep standing like that. Children of Israel, won't you just say, ah, this is their God. I turn back. But he didn't. What kind of hardness is that? Anybody can get to that level. Yes. And I believe God has given us this special time in case you are in that category, you are in that situation where your heart is so hardened. I pray that the Lord will break it. Yes. If after this special time of daily, daily, we did not spare one day up till today, even on Saturdays, we have people representing coming together to pray, to make sure that every day is filled, we will not be the same again. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. we are moving forward. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God has delivered us, Amen. and we can't thank him enough for all that he has done. We too can say, he that too. It is true we don't know tomorrow, but I can say, as at now, for now, he that too, the Lord has helped us. Amen. And he will continue to help us. Amen. As we rejoice, God wants us to pay attention to that hitherto, which means up to here. It's not the end. We should remember the verse of the scripture that says that only those that shall endure 
to the end shall be saved. May the Lord help you and I to endure to the end. Amen. We do want to do this on this special occasion of Thanksgiving. We want to take a stone. You know, it's, it's important that we do something like this. It is, it's so important so that we don't forget. You, you need to put something there. You need to erect something there. You, you need to have something there that you will be referring to. That is my stone of help. That is what the Lord has done for me during the time that I called upon his name. We give it a name. Give it whatever name you want to give it. That's the kind of the thing some people have done this morning. They jumped up to give testimony to the Lord. They will be remembering uh, uh, that as far as that is concerned. We too shall have our Ebenezer, Amen. the stone of help. And if you don't know, or you may not uh, uh, realize, let me read some of this to you in the book of Psalm, Psalm 103, Psalm 103, from verse 2. Bless the Lord, O my soul, Amen. and forget not. I circle that next word in my Bible. All is benefit. All is benefit. May God help us not to forget. Amen. Who forgiveth all? I circle that one again. He didn't forgive some. He forgave me all my sins. Who, forgive, who, who forgiveth all thy iniquities? Who healeth all? Hallelujah. Yeah. The two men that um, conducted prayer meeting for the men here yesterday, when people were chosen to conduct prayer meetings, uh, they don't know themselves. They were not even given topics to prepare. The first one came up, and he, he told us that this is what God has impressed upon his heart, to pray for the sick. And then we did that. The second person came on board, and he, he was so surprised. He has prepared all his notes from home, and he said, I, I got here, I don't know, I just saw my, the, the, my, my, the first person talking about healing. For me, too, that's what God has given me. Amen. Amen. And then we prayed for the sick. And we are expecting answers. Yes. For our God is still answering prayers. Yes. Who healeth all thy diseases? is all, all, all. Some, you may say, it's a simple one like headache. Which one cannot just kill someone just like that? Or high blood pressure. They said you can just fall down and just die without any warning. Or any or cancer. Our God is equal to all of this. Yes. Whatever it is, He heals. Yes. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Amen. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things, Amen. so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles? Amen. Verse 7, he made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will not always child. Neither will he keep his anger forever. No. Is that not true? Yes. God does not just nag and nag. No. May God deliver us. Amen. I, I, at home, I don't see little things. I, I nag. And my wife, is says, stop nagging. <laughs> just any little thing, we, really, we have not done this. Oh, you have not done this. Oh, that has not been done. Nagging. As I was thinking of the, that, that word, and I was thinking of God. Always. He doesn't do that. Because he knows our frame. Yes. He knows who we are. Yes. He knows when to excuse us. Not for sin, but for our frailties and for our mistakes or errors. But not for sin. Yes. It's not for every time you, you this, you are that, and you are that. My wife will leave light on, I complain. It's part of nagging. And then I'm just thinking of God. If every, every small, small thing, God is just pointing to me just like this and just like that. I will say, what kind of a God is this? He won't let me breathe. But praise God. Amen. He will not always child. Amen. 
Neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us. Hey, hey. God, God help us. May God help us to open our mouths and praise him. Not dealt with us after our sins. It is even mentioned there, after our sins. Not mistake or error. Nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Is it not said in the word of God in Psalm 130 verse 3 that uh, if the Lord will be marking, as some people do, if he will be marking iniquities, you and I, we can't stand Thank God that he doesn't do that. Amen. Thank God that he corrects us in love. Amen. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Amen. As far as the east from the west, Amen. so far as he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass. As a flower of the field, so it flourisheth. 21. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of ease that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Amen. Amen. Let us bless him. Let us praise him. You know, if you, you, you know, some people say, um, uh, within a few minutes, I've finished, and I'm not saying a uh, long, long, few minutes prayer, God doesn't answer. He answers one minute prayer. He answers one second prayer. I can tell you, too, he answers 10 hours prayers. Yes. He answers two hours prayers. Yes. Even for 36 days. Amen. If you will think, just start thinking. When you go down on your knees, think from your head. Just only look at yourself. And just be thinking of your head, one by one. Your head, and then your eyes. Can you see? Even if you have to use some aid like this. Okay, then your mouth, you can open and close. Then your tongue, you can talk. Then think of all those things inside that you cannot see, that are working. With this, my sickness, as they say, I've read a lot, and the, the, the anatomy of what goes on inside. Wow. Praise God. Amen. What God is doing inside. Amen. Then you think of your hand. Then you, think, then you think of your legs. Before you even now think of outside. You, you remain on your knees praising God. For every aspect. For every aspect. For every aspect. We were out early this morning. We were, well, from the prayer room, we went out this morning to go and pray for one of our young people who is very sick on bed. And, and then we were talking about, you know, it takes God or it takes a molecule, just a molecule in your body, in my body to shift. And then the pain, the, 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 the discomfort that you get. That, you know, we are able to be looking at each other like this and, of course, praising God and happy because... God still align everything in place. Yes. We have a lot to praise God for. Yes. Okay, that is feedback thanksgiving. When we think back, and we have many things. We cannot even praise God enough for all that. And many of us, we always do this. And it is a good thing to do when we look back. How about advanced thanksgiving? How about feed forward thanksgiving? There is feedback thanksgiving. There is feed forward thanksgiving. We want to thank God for all the prayers that we have prayed that is yet to answer. Don't let us forget that. Please don't let us forget that. We concentrate more on feedback, on what has happened, what the Lord has done, which we can see, and we owe that to God. Don't misunderstand me. We equally owe God feed for thanksgiving. You remember the case of Jesus Christ? Just to pick an example. When he got to the grave side of Lazarus, yeah. and he said, roll away the stone. Oh, he has been there four days thinking. And oh, the, the, the stench is just too much. Roll away the stone. And after they have rolled away the stone, 
Jesus Christ said to his father, Father, I thank thee because you always hear me. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. We want to tell God that, Father, we thank you because you always hear us. Yes. All those prayers that are in the bottle, as we say, in heaven, you know, our Sunday school lesson says that all those cries and tears of the children of Israel, God was bottling it. God was bottling it. One day, God said, it has come. It's going to happen today. Amen. I'm breaking that bottle. Amen. I'm bringing those tears to remembrance. Amen. We want to say, I want to thank God that I've prayed for my deliverance. Amen. And the Lord has answered. Amen. I thank you, God. I have prayed for my healing, yeah. and you have healed me. Yeah. The pain may still be there. Be thanking God yeah. that he has healed you. We have prayed for our children. Let's be thanking God yeah. that the Lord has answered. Yeah. As we come forward to pray, don't let us forget. Don't let us just concentrate on what the Lord has done. Concentrate also on the prayers you have prayed that you are still expecting answer. Amen. I think we have heard this many times that it takes thanksgiving many times to receive. Yeah. It does. Yes. Even just think about our, our earthly parents. You, 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 Daddy, I'm, I'm asking you to give me something, but I'm thanking you. I know you will give me. I thank you. I, I, I thank you. I know you will do it. I, I just trust you that you will do it. Ah, you parents, how, do, how will you feel? Even if you don't have the means, you go to God. God, I've been telling my child I don't have the means, but he's already thanking me for providing it. Will you not help me? How much more God? Amen. Who has everything. Amen. That thing that you are asking, he has it at his disposal. Yes. And you are now saying, God, I thank you. That you are, and, you, and you mean it. It's not just a question of casual, let me just try, let me say it. They say we should say it. No, 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 no. It is going to be the one that God will see yeah. from the bottom of your heart, yeah. from, the bottom, from all your being, that you are thanking him, relying entirely on him, knowing that he's able, yeah. abundantly able. Yeah. We want to do exactly that. We want to do what the children of Israel did after crossing the Red Sea. After God has given them victory, they didn't forget. They, they looked back and they saw what the Lord has done. We want to look back. The horses and their riders, God has overthrown. Amen. Even for that case that is staring you in the face, even for that situation that is staring you in the face, take it as if God has conquered it already. Amen. And you see what the Lord is going to do. Amen. We just want to fall down before God and remember and think back. And think forward. All those other prayers that you have prayed. And say, God, I'm thanking you for what you have done. I'm thanking you for what you are going to do. I'm thanking you for what you have in plan to do for me. Do you feel like thanking God? Let the ladies come to the altar. Let the men come to the altar. The altars are opened as we sing. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Come forward and pray. If you cannot find place at the altar, you can be where you are to kneel down and cry to God in thanksgiving. When upon life's billows you are tempest tossed.
for the many things you are going to do. We thank you for this special time. Lord, accept our thanks and praises. Lord, help us to remember that you are greater than all our problems. Help us to remember that as you give us our breath, you are able to do everything for us. And all these surmountable problems, you have done them already. We will praise you forever. Give us more grace, O oh Lord. Write names in heaven today. Not only here, even those who are listening to us, write the names of sinners who will repent today. Bless us and make us a blessing. In Jesus' mighty name.